Welcome everyone. To finalize with the GIS material of this advanced level, I would like to show you a very short video tutorial of the additional features we have in MapInfo. I am sure that you will find them useful. Because we don't have much time left, I am going to focus only on thematic maps. Thematic maps are a very strong visualization tool in order to interpret how a certain attribute of a dataset and its values relate to the geographical location of its elements. For example, as we can see here in this map, we have a thematic map based on the Danish municipalities where we can clearly distinguish their shape by different colors. Let's go now to map info. You can choose to do the examples along with the video or you can just relax and follow it. What is important is that you can identify the potentials of GIS and map info. As you can see, I have map info open and I have my tables ready to work with. The first one is households GIS and you should be familiar with it already. It represents the households in a given area and we can activate it and it looks like this in the map. The second one is Langeland Reg and it's basically a reference layer displaying the limits of the area under study. Here we can zoom out, remove this one, and here you can see this is the municipality that we are working with. Now we are ready to start with our first thematic map based on the post numbers of the area under study. For that we are going to take the information in the column post number in the database households. It is very important when you start creating your thematic maps that you have your map window activated. So first you click on it and then you should see the tab map up here. You click on map and then you drag it down all the way to create thematic map and you should see a window like this one. Because we're working with post numbers and post numbers take individual values, it is important that you take the type of thematic map as individual down here. And because we're working with addresses and addresses are individual points, it is important that we choose the correct template. So either this one or this one. If you're working with regions or with segments, you can choose some or the other templates, but for now we need to use point template. And we click on next. Now MapInfo wants to know where to take the information from. So first we need to select the table, and for us it's going to be households GIS, and then the field where that information is located. And for us it's post numbers. And then we click on next. And now we're almost done. Now you can see that MapInfo has identified four different groups, so we have four different values for the post numbers, and here between brackets we have the number of elements within each post number, so the number of addresses. And here on the left hand side you can see the icons that represent the households in those post numbers, and we can actually modify it if we want. So we can click on the styles, we can select any of the post numbers, click on the icon, and then we have the option or selecting any of the map info icons. I'm just going to leave it as it is for now. I close these windows and now the only thing I have to do is to click OK to create my thematic map. So as you can see now I can clearly identify the addresses within its post number visually and here you can see the legend and nicely displayed it would look like something like this. Our second example is very similar to the first one. We are going to create a thematic map based on the type of buildings that we have in the area. And for that we are going to use the column type text. This field describes the type of buildings that we have, but unfortunately it is in Danish. For now it is good enough to illustrate this example. So I do like before, I click on map, I click on the map tab and then I choose create my thematic map because we are working with types of buildings and those take individual values it's important that we still work with the 
type of thematic map individual and because we are still working with addresses we choose the template point and click next now I have to select the database that I'm using again households EIS and I need to select the field that I want to use and in this case is type text and I click on next we can see that map info has identified a number of groups of types of buildings and I'm just going to leave, to leave it as it is so I click OK and you can see here in the legend all the groups that I have in my database and also here between brackets the number of elements that I have within each group and as you can see it doesn't look as nice as before obviously because the types of buildings are naturally mixed now we can zoom in a little bit so you can see how it looks like and this is how it would look like nicely displayed For our third example, we're going to change a bit and we're going to create a thematic map based on the distance between each of the addresses and their telephony exchange point. By doing this, what I want to show you is a different type of thematic map, not based on individual values, but based on groups of values, on ranges of values. And for that, we're going to use the column total list in our database. I'm going to proceed as before. Click on map, click on the map tab and create my thematic map. Now you have to be aware that you're not working with individual values, you're working with ranges. So you must select the type of thematic map as ranges, the top one. And because we're still working with addresses and those are still points, we have to choose a template related to points. I'm just going to choose the top one. Now MapInfo wants to know where the information is located and I proceed as before, select my database and then I select the field in that in this case is total list and I click on next now we can see that MapInfo is giving us five different ranges, five different groups as default but we can easily manipulate that we can click on ranges and here we can see the method of how the ranges has are created and the number of ranges that we have I'm just going to modify it to four ranges and I'm going to modify it two equal ranges and then I recalculate I click OK and then we are ready to go I click OK to create my thematic map and then you see how MapInfo has created our thematic map based on the distance between each of the addresses and their telephony exchange point here we have the legend as before And here we have an example of how nicely we can display this thematic map. Well, this is all for now. In the Mapping for Instructions document, you can find a link containing a lot more video tutorials. So you're free to follow them. See you.